Okay, let me stop being vain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Practicing! <laughs> I know that I can't be the only one. I love it. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Your friend has whole new hair and does not know how to act, okay? Way too many curls in it right now, so looking forward to it falling a bit. Anyway, let me stop being vain. The kids are working on some devotional time and I think they're almost done. It is raining out, but we're still going for a morning walk. We're gonna stop by the library, of course. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a readathon because I'm excited about that. Plus, now that the library is back, this means we can bring back story time in the morning. It was getting really difficult because actually we don't have that many picture books. Uh, and so that's normally what we do for story time in the morning. And it was just getting really, the idea of buying picture books was just getting really um, pricey feeling, okay? So I'd already bought quite enough books. There was no way I could really handle picture books right now. But now that the library is back, this means we can bring back story time in the morning. So I have stack of picture books that we're gonna work our way through this morning. And then we're gonna move on to more books and more stories and more books. And I'm very excited about it. They're getting ready for our walk. Cameron has a little stack of books that we're gonna be returning in exchange for a big stack of books. You had it. <laughs> but that's okay, cause I, y'all, I've really been returning all of my books on time, which is great. Savannah, Savannah's Mommy. perfecting her Mommy. British accent. Yes. How come you and Daddy are American? Our whole family is American. <laughs> They're practicing their British accents, you guys. Practicing, practicing. <laughs> the story is, but he was American, but he's Buddhist. We've got new books, friends. I used to always speak in a British accent when reading to them when they were little. I'm, I'm certain that it was horrible. <laughs> All right, so, so clearly they're still practicing their British accent. Are we doing yoga? All right, so we're gonna get through the rest of the school day. Excuse me. Did you know that the Narnia video lasts for over eight hours? It is. Or just eight hours. Gendel, come. What else can you say with your British accent? What do I say? You can say anything you want to say. Anything I want to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ready to start your binder? Yes. Are you ready to write today? Yes. Okay, so, right, well, so this is what we're working a, I'm with. I'm reminded of something I don't want to think about. Why? When we were reminded of a person that we didn't like, we scream in our pillow. Y'all, these kids are so silly. Anyway, I'm getting ready to work my way through this stack. Why am I so excited? So I'll show you what I have. Anne Frank, the girl heard around the world, digging mm -hmm. for words, the secret garden, the story of George Washington Carver, the unstoppable Garrett Morgan, inventor, entrepreneur, hero, magnificent homespun brown. I know I'm gonna get this wrong, so why don't y'all just look at the book, okay? This is when audiobooks are great because if you can find an audiobook version, it helps you not to like ruin it yourself. Maybe this one is in that uh, by the author who did What to Do with an Idea, What to Do with a Problem. I'm pretty sure this is by that same author. This is maybe a story about the endless potential in all of us. Arabic quilt, an immigrant story, Greta and the Giants. I just love this illustration, it's so beautiful. My friend Earth, equally as beautiful. We said we weren't gonna play with our hair, Serena. Bad habit. Macy McMillan and the Rainbow Goddess. I'm pretty sure this has something to do with one of her parents being remarried and her gaining like step siblings and she has to move and I'm pretty sure that our protagonist in this one is um, deaf. Yeah, that's all I know about this one. I picked up picture books to go along with Kendall and his history studies. So he is studying more about Frederick Douglass. So I got words, 
set me free. Bread for words, a Frederick Douglass story. Two friends, this one is about Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass. We can't see you. Pop your head in, they can only see this. Don't tell Cam when he might read it. What book are you reading? Twin Tuition. <laughs> Vanna's reading Twin Tuition and her person got, her protagonist got bitten by a shark. Really? So what are you talking about? Oh, 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 oh. So Savannah's writing a book that she wants us to all love, but most, especially Cameron. Well, don't tell the people if you're not going to tell your brother. I'm not going to tell him. Okay, and then the last one is actually not um, Frederick Douglass. This one is about Booker T. Washington. I couldn't pass it up this time around. So this one is With Books and Bricks, How Booker T. Washington Built a School. That's what I picked up from the library. We're gonna get started on this stack of picture books this morning. This is my little cubby for what I am reading this month. Y'all, uh, I, don't, I don't know that I'm gonna get through all of these, but I wanna try my best. These are my options. I don't know what I'm gonna choose today, but I'm very excited. So, we're gonna get started on this stack, and then I'm going to move through the rest of our school day. Typically for Brain and Logic time, we play games together, and we're trying to do that more and more. So I had gotten this one. Okay, so I think we'll start with this one today. Um, last time we tried to break this out and play this one, but we realized we had to take all of the pieces and punch all of the pieces out and like prep all of the parts so we actually didn't get around to it, playing it. So today it, we're going to. Was it like the big shark we built? The mm -mm. No, this is a game. This is like a board game. So today we're going to open it up and um, go ahead and read the instructions and see if we can at least give it a try. I feel like games like these that are a bit more complicated and complex, require a little bit more brain power, should come with videos. Because <laughs> in that way, you can get squared away um, with the instructions and then you can get right to it. The illustrations on this game are like gorgeous. So this represents winter, of course. This one represents fall. Pretty sure this one is um, summer. No, this is spring. Is this spring? I don't know. This is either spring. <laughs> I think this one may be spring and that one may be summer, but I'm not certain. But this is what we had to do. We had to put all of these little pieces together. So Kendall helped me put all of these tree pieces together, which why are they so gorgeous? kids just finished they just finished lunch and now I'm finally gonna get to read I think I need to get out of the house we need to get out of the house for sure but I really do want to read especially since these books are gonna be due back in the library soon I know that I can't be the only one it's okay we're making it through we've made it this far very much so looking forward to some warmer weather picnics that type of thing so anyway, I'm just getting ready to see. She's always lurking around the corner. Look, there she is, there she is. I'm at least trying to move into another room. Really into doing her own hair. I'm all in an awkward space, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna start with, they trying to take a long lunch break. African Americans were still segregated by US federal law and treated as second class citizens. Carver had been given only 10 minutes to speak. He gave the audience 10 minutes they would never forget. Doesn't it look different than if you if it was like watercolor or if it was... Y'all, this illustration. I love it. He learned how to protect the roots through the winter so flowers could be reborn in the spring. Like, how about that? <laughs> 1890, George is the first black student to enroll at Simpson College. Carver develops a traveling schoolhouse called the Jessup Agricultural Wagon to educate local farmers. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. It's recorded. All right. Okay. So we just got past this page, which I love. Jackson stacks of books inside of his garbage truck. Were you recording? Here's some. 
I'm okay. pretty sure. A few pages to read, a few hours to dream. Oh, I love this illustration. Okay. Every corner is stuffed with them. Picture books for niños, classic stories thick with elegant covers, big textbooks heavy with their complicated subjects. His, his garage is basically a library. It's a I thought no, you no, were holding your hand out for a high it's, five. It's amazing! It's amazing! So we just finished digging for words. We love that one. And now we're on to Anne Frank. And sometimes it seemed like no one understood. But Anne was born. Next up is the unstoppable Garrett Morgan. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a little popcorn for our... Don't worry about the bird. <laughs> Don't worry about that. So we just finished. We 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 just finished um, reading the unstoppable Garrett Morgan, inventor, what entrepreneur, and hero. This book was so good. So, so now I'm gonna let the kids move on to their next, the next part of their day. It's been a mellow day, y'all. I just finished blow drying my hair. I really want to put some curls in it, but it's not time for that right now. <laughs> I feel like the hardest part of my day is making sure I stay focused. And the distractions are many, friends. So anyway, the kids have gotten started. I have been loving having a calendar set out. One day I spent the most amount of time um, just kind of putting together a little bit of a plan for our year. Nothing too set in stone, but something that gave a little bit of extra structure to our year. And I'm so glad that I did that. So that's where our calendar kind of lives. All the green is weeks on. The yellow is our think week or our week off. I have our lab scheduled, our cooking club, art club, spelling, B, drama club, newspaper, all of that stuff. So yeah, that really helps me to stay focused. I wanna work on a little bit of planning. Um, my planning is very loose nowadays and has a lot to do with what they are getting into on their own. So just trying to support them as much as possible and I kinda love it, but it kinda makes me feel all over the place sometimes. So um, I'm just going to get some coffee and spend some time doing this while they are working. Another thing I want to get accomplished this week is getting their book gallery together, which means I have to take book pictures. I had them um, get their stacks together to make it easier once we finally did get some time to take our pictures. We're working our way through very close to lunchtime. Really, Savannah? We're going to be starting our family seven day reading challenge. It is free on our website um, as a downloadable for signing up for our email list. So yeah, I'm excited to uh, get our stacks. It's seven days, so it's basically a week rotation. So we'll pick out our books for the week to fit the challenge, and then we circle back around and start all over again. The lessons in our day, the rabbit holes that we go down are led by our lives and all the books we read, so. <laughs> so he pulls out his books to get inspiration from. So he's, he's my favorite. More right to the there. story, let me see the next one. He's funny. How's the Louisville? How's the Louisville? I love this one. Forever a long time. I never stopped loving this one. And shouting at three. I need inspiration too. So there are his book inspirations. You need inspiration too? From my favorite. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I want to keep my um, hair nice and protected underneath. So it's braided underneath because I'm going to be jumping back in to my fitness, my wellness plan, and I need to not have to worry about my hair. So that way I can keep my hair nice and protected underneath. I can wash it, condition it regularly, and make sure I'm not in it all day. Because I have a really bad habit, y'all already know this, I'm sure, of touching and messing with my hair and then wanting to like straighten it and curl it. I would love for my hair to be nice and thick and healthy like this in the future. So I can put my hands in my hair and be fine with it <laughs> and not feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. So anyway. Why is this light so good right here? I never come right here. I don't know what is going on with my camera, but I feel like you can see the room really nicely right here. So. It's right here. I can see it really good. It's like it's big, pretty big. <laughs> He's writing and he is checking out his microscope. I'm trying to get this leaf in a simple position. Okay. One space. Oh no, that's the wrong way. This leaf can fit in a square. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow. I need to get to work and then get myself worked out and rested so I can start another day. Don't forget to subscribe.